viewers yeah. out there are, are <laughs> sending me waves yeah. to tell me, <laughs> ask them. Well, Who you, do you well, think boy, would, win, boy, would win the, the Kentucky Derby this year? Well, I, uh, to tell you the truth, I, I don't even know. I, I'm rooting for a horse. The, uh, I think his name is Golden, Golden Sand, Golden Sand, the one designed in a derby. Okay. Well, uh, that horse, uh, Doug O'Neill trains him. And uh, um, his, uh, his mother is very close to my mother. And uh, we, I know Doug is a nice guy, and I used to ride for him. And... The horse won very well, San Anita, so I'm going to root for him, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of tough horses in the race. I hear about a horse, the one, the horse that won the, uh, the wood, where I think it was, uh, for uh, uh, this trainer, I forgot his name, uh, Verasano. The trainer, the, I mean, the horse name is Verasano. He's a good horse. He got speed. He is going to be well-placed. And uh, he finished very well, so he's going to be very tough to beat. Do you uh, do you go often to the races uh, throughout the year? I I I go important days like uh, Sanira Derby, Sanira Handicap, the Stroop Stake, or whether they have a big day at the track. And sometimes they call me to just go over there and present a trophy or or. Uh, you know, but I don't go all the time. I go once in a while. I know there's there's two races in your honor. I believe Hollywood Park has a uh, an award, the Lafitte Pinkai uh, Junior Award for a, a jockey who is uh, respected and done great things with integrity for. Yes, well, no, no, not only a jockey, but uh, a person that I uh, have done well in races and uh, contributed to to the good of racing. And, uh, and then in my country, Panama, they have a race for me over there. And I, I just came back from over there because uh, uh, the po in the Podromo Presidente de Rome, they have this my, a race with my name. And they also they have a statue of me over there. So I go every year at this time of a year and uh, I present the trophy to the winner, to the owner of the winning horse. And then I, um, I, there's a school with my name too, and I get to talk to the kids and the school with, gave me a great pleasure to do that, you know, because I can, hopefully I can put something in their, in their head, something good that it will m make him a better jockey. Well, there's no one else to speak better of what it's like to be successful and to be a great champion yeah. other than, than Lafitte Pinkai. Yeah. The, uh, in the, in the field of, of horse racing, Either you're a horse or you're a jockey. <laughs> if, if you're tall, you can't be a jockey. But what if someone really loves the horse racing business? Um, there's other areas like being a commentator. Um, and are there school, not schools, but what, uh, I believe your son is a uh, Yes, my, my son is a commentator. Uh, uh, a racing commentator, but he, 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 uh, yeah, the third. the third, and he's very good. And I'm telling you, I don't know how he got into it. Well, I know how he got into it, but, but, but since he was a little kid, we never used to take it to the racetrack, only once in a while. He, he, he most of the time, he stay at home, and uh, he, he, my wife would go to the races with me, and once in a while, in a big race, he'll go. But all of a sudden, my son, he started to, uh, he started to study my tapes. And one day, uh, he told me, he said, Dad, I want to be a jockey. I mean, I'm sorry. I want to be a racing commentator. That's what you wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want him to be a jockey. Believe me, I'm very happy that he, that, that, uh, he grew up, you know. But he said, I want to be a racing commentator. And I said, that's fine, that's good. So all of a sudden, he's got a job in New York, you know, he... And then he came when he was doing very well. He was doing not only, he was doing other sports. He was doing uh, baseball and football and, and tennis. So, and then he came back to California to see me break the record. And he took too long over here. I took too long breaking the record. So he got fired. <laughs> so me and a friend of mine, uh, uh, his name is, uh, oh, I forgot his name. Well, we, um, um, Haregi, Louis Haregi, we got him a job with TVG. 
And then uh, he was working with TVG, and all of a sudden they laid out a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of workers, and one of those workers was my son. So then we got him a job with uh, HRTV. Oh, okay. And all of a sudden he took off, you know, and... He's got good. a gr great voice for Yeah, him. good for him. Uh, you, yeah. he, knows, he knows the sport very well. Yeah. Uh, and you, you were talking about you you uh, glad that he didn't get into horse racing. Is, as far as the dangers as a jockey... I, I would imagine it's it's going that fast. It, it's always dangerous. But is there a more dangerous time of the race? That out of the gate, in the gate, the finish. It's a, it's danger all the time. You never know. Even after the wire, it's danger. Sometimes horses passing the wire, they trip and go down. You know, and and then you never know. I remember my first spill. The first spill that I had, my mother wanted me to be a a, a doctor. She wanted me to study to be a doctor, you know. So finally, I told her I want to be a jockey. So finally, she let me go to the track. She didn't want to. But after riding for about three or four months, I ran in this filly on the. She's coming on the turn, and she tripped and fell, and I hit the ground so hard, and I lay down on the floor. And I remember looking at the sky, and I feel that I got a broken carbon. The first thing that came to my mind was. I should have listened to my mother because I'm going to kill myself <laughs> over here. <laughs> now you can use a doctor. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm telling you, I'm thinking, I say, I don't know if I want to do this again, you know, because I hit pretty hard. Well, two weeks later, I couldn't wait to get back on a horse. And then I knew that was for me. When I wanted to get back on a horse, I remember going to the track and I told this trainer, I said, I want to get on a horse, I want to gallop this horse. And he says, uh, you only, you only, you have collar been broken for two weeks. Don't worry, I've been exercising. I can pull. I can pull the reins. Because in Panama, we don't we don't gallop the horses with saddle. We we gallop the horses bareback. You know, like an Indian style. Right. So I say I can do that. So I gall I remember gallop the horse. You know, and you know, you talk about the horses. They sometimes they they get spooked. Uh, I, I I don't. Or, the horses, I don't think they could intimidate each other, but maybe the jockeys do. Is, is that something that the jockeys have a advantage over another jockey where you may want to...